Hey everyone, Steve Harris here with OutCode. Let's have a look today at a new feature in the website builder designed to solve an issue that we've been running into for quite a while. And that's with Apple's tablet devices showing the desktop version of a website. So I have my desktop version of a website up here. And when I scale the browser down to approximately a tablet width, which is about 1024 pixels wide, you can see that things start to compress and it just doesn't look very good. Our navigation's wrapping into a couple rows and that's just not going to work for us. So we've ha always had this tablet mode here in the top and tablet mode required us to be able to detect that somebody was viewing this on a tablet. And unfortunately, Apple came out with an update that forced tablets to view the desktop mode of a website. So this hamburger menu would no longer be shown and we'd basically see the compressed version of this site. So there's a new feature in the website builder called responsive design mode, and that will fix this issue entirely. So if we go into the design tab, then click site layout, then you can see here at the top, we have desktop and it says responsive desktop and tablet. And let's just turn that on. So once we've turned that on, it asks us what site layout we'd like above the 1024 breakpoint. I'd like to keep my just top bar header intact as it is on the desktop mode. And then below that, what would we like to show? This is a hamburger menu, or we can go back to kind of a top bar header. And then of course we have our mobile options. So I'm gonna leave this all as it is by default, which is my standard navigation above this breakpoint. And below that, we'll move to a hamburger menu and kind of have a hidden navigation. So now that I've enabled that setting, let me close this tab. So let's go ahead and scale the browser down. And as I scale it down, you'll see that when we approach the 1024 breakpoint, boom, it flips to the tablet layout. So we no longer have to detect that this device is a tablet. What we're doing is rather using the viewport size or kind of the pixel width of the site and now showing the tablet view. So you'll want to make sure if you do flip this option on that you have updated your tablet layout the tablet layout's been a little bit neglected since this change and some users aren't using it anymore. And now you'll want to make sure that this indeed is updated to match your current site. So this will completely solve that issue with Apple devices showing the compressed and condensed version. And it should not be a problem for you in the future. We have plenty more responsive design videos coming your way. So stay tuned. Thanks so much.